Making a Jack-O-Lantern, part four. Today you're gonna take your green paper that you painted and you're gonna flip it over. First, you're gonna make some big zigzags. I mean, big, huge, up the mountain, down the mountain. Then you're gonna make a straight line going across, leave a little space between it. Make another really big zigzag line all the way from one side to the other. Now you're gonna get your scissors and you're gonna make sure your thumb is on top and you're going to cut that nice straight line down the center. Okay, so you're gonna cut a little bit. You're gonna open your scissors very wide, stick it inside, turn it, cut a little bit more, open it very wide, cut a little bit more, open very wide. You're gonna keep doing this all the way across your big zigzag. If you accidentally made little tiny zigzags, you might want to erase and make them bigger so they're easier to cut. You're gonna continue to do this all the way to the very end until the two papers come apart. There you go, two zigzag lines. Now you're gonna do it again on the other paper. So once again, cut carefully, then open your scissors very wide. Stick it inside, turn it, and cut. You're gonna do this until you get to the very end again. Now you should have four green pieces that have zigzags at the top. You're gonna flip over one of them and with um, your pencil, you're gonna draw a straight line going down because we're gonna cut this piece so it can be the stem of your pumpkin or your jack-o'-lantern. Now you're gonna take the glue and you're just gonna put one or two tiny drops Flip it over and you're going to hold this for 10 seconds. Count to 10. Now we're going to use that green zigzag paper to make the grass at the bottom of your paper. So you're going to flip it over and you're going to put a tiny drop of glue and then you're going to jump. Tiny drop dot, jump, dot, jump, dot. Now I'm gonna put it a little bit above the bottom. There we go. Leave a little space because we're gonna put another row in front of that in a little bit. This will be like the back row. Hold it down and count to 10. Now we're gonna do the piece that goes in front. So we're gonna dot, Jump, dot, jump, dot, jump, dot, jump, dot, jump. We're gonna put this one in front of the other one. Put it in the right spot and then hold it down and count to 10. Now for the next part, we don't need a whole entire piece. So I'm gonna put it where I think it should go and then I'm going to take my pencil and draw a line where I need to make a cut. And I'm gonna cut on that line so that I know that's the piece that I need to go in there. Now I'm gonna take my glue bottle, I'm gonna dot it one or two or three times. I should not see rivers of glue. Remember, you're gonna put it where there's a little bit of space of blue at the bottom and hold it down. Now I need to do that thing again. So I'm gonna put it in the right space, draw a line, take my scissors with my thumb on top, cut it, put a couple of drops of glue on the back, just a couple, and put it back in front. 
hold it down. Now those extra green pieces, you can do with those whatever you want. And there you have your jack-o'-lantern with the cool grass right in front of it. I love it. Yay, you did it. I hope you enjoyed this project.